What do you think of when you think of fall? Sweet potatoes, right? Well, we're making mashed spice sweet potatoes tonight that have a little bit of a pumpkin flavor to it because of the spices that we're using. And we're also making roasted butternut squash. Now, most people think, you know, butternut squash is a winter vegetable, and you know, technically it is. It's a winter squash anyway. But I also think of fall and Thanksgiving when I think of those two things. So that's what we're making tonight. As always, the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. Now, the first thing you wanna do is set your oven to 400. Make sure to take your pans out first. Now, you need three pounds of sweet potatoes, and we're gonna get crazy tonight because we're not using a tray. We're just gonna stick these directly on the rack, cook them for probably about a half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. You wanna be able to stick a knife in it, and we're gonna cut them in half and then scoop them out. We're not using the skins, so you don't have to wash them or any of that stuff. I mean, I guess it probably would be good to wash them. Nah. All right, I think we are preheated enough. Now, since these are the larger ones, it does say they might take a little bit longer. Just see what happens after about 45. Fun fact, George Washington Carver came up with over 100 products using sweet potatoes, including vinegar, molasses, and even postage stamp glue. Also, North Carolina's state food is the sweet potato. All right, the sweet potato has about half an hour-ish, maybe a little bit less. So we're gonna start preparing the butternut squash. You're gonna need a lot of coriander seeds for this. So grab your seeds. Normally I would use a mortar and pestle to grind them up because we need to have ground coriander seeds, but there are so many. I mean, we're dealing with two tablespoons, it's kind of a lot. So I'm gonna have fun with it. When you can smell it through the bag, I think you're good. Also, that was a lot more fun than using a mortar and pestle. Now, get your squash. We're gonna peel it and cut it and scoop it. Probably should have skinned it first. Before we get too crazy over here, go ahead and grab a pan. You want to make sure that has a lip around it. Either put foil on it or just grease it up. All right, the timer went off. Let's check the sweet potatoes. Uh, you're oozing on the bottom right there. Yes, I'm, so I'm gonna say they're done. Yep. All right, we're gonna let those cool. They also didn't say anything about them oozing out on the bottom of the oven. Otherwise I would have put them on a pan. It smells very similar to cantaloupe. All right, we're not gonna chop this other half because this is way too much as it is. We got plenty. Forgot we were supposed to cut these in half. Supposed to help them cool a little faster. Oh, we need to drop the oven to 375. So just 25 degrees more, just or less. 25 degrees less. And we're gonna throw on our coriander seeds, salt, and olive oil. Now, you wanna coat these good. So you wanna toss them, make sure that every piece is coated with everything. Oh my God. Okay, I think we have too much squash. You're supposed to get medium squash and those were the only squash that I could find. So they seem kind of large. All right. Now you don't wanna ignore those. You wanna toss them every 10 minutes or so because we're gonna cook them for 35 minutes till they're lightly caramelized and soft. Uh, here are sizzling. Toss time. Ooh, that's heavy. Toss time. All right, it's in there for the last round. So let's go ahead and start on our mashed spice sweet potatoes. Grab a bowl, and they should be cool enough to handle them now, but still warm, which they are. Perfect. They're perfect. All right, so we're gonna scoop these out and stick them in this bowl. Well, that was ridiculously easy. And we're gonna add everything else and mash it up real good. Any light 
vegetable oil, not olive oil, salt, nutmeg, allspice, cinnamon, ginger, and maple syrup. Grab a good old trusty sturdy fork and mash away. All right, we're done with that, so set it off to the side and wait for your butternut squash. Let's check it. I'm gonna say we're done. Let's try it. First thought is, tonight's dinner brought to you by the color orange. Now, I'm trying the sweet potatoes first. These are the really good, like, desserty sweet potatoes that you get at Thanksgiving. I mean, this is like pumpkin pie sweet potato. Good. I almost feel like it should be more of a dessert, but I know you don't eat sweet potatoes as a dessert, unless it's in a pie, which it's not. And, yeah. and one of the squash. There's a really good creamy butternut squash taste. Imagine that. I feel like it could use a little bit more seasoning. Not too much more, just a little bit. I hate to always use this as my go-to, but I feel like it could use a little bit more salt. Can you taste the coriander seeds? Other than that, there's not a lot of flavor, which we didn't really add anything to it other than salt and coriander seeds. I feel like cumin might be good on it. All in all, this is Thanksgiving and fall food at its finest. Well, maybe not finest. Mashed spiced sweet potatoes. Are really good. It's that desserty sweet potato. Butternut squash could use a little bit more seasoning. But this is Thanksgiving on a plate right here. So there you go, a little fall on your plate. But don't fall on your plate. If you liked it, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Make sure to subscribe and comment and share and all that good stuff. I will see you all next time.